let's have people throw money first. To I see, mean, does it have um, a compartment in the back of high drugs? And welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly, the show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. I'm old man Vin, driving the SS Nightmare Train here in beautiful downtown Athens, joined every week by the man up north. That's one Jordan Asafon, get it right. And staying up late past his bedtime, Pedro Mateus. <laughs> and together with you, Shadow Realm Dynamic, helping us form cocaine, Voltron 2 canes, stereo canes, not quadraphonic, not biphonic, just two damn Binor- canes. Deal with it, you Binaural two. Binaural canes. Binaural canes. I want to start the show off with a big, sloppy, wet, thank you, to maybe a single, plural, or maybe an entire department. Over a little company I like to call Microsoft. You might have heard me last week when I sat down and I said, Hey man, why won't you interface with interfacing Linux? Why am I blacklisted on Bing? That wasn't, I mean, it's Bing. Ten people use Bing, not a big deal. But the duck duck bingers do. Pedro could not find interfacing Linux. He didn't know it existed. I was like, hey man, I got a great site. And Pedro would go to DuckDuckGo. He would search for it. And he's like, bullshit. Not there, man. That, so that's I, true. It doesn't show up. <laughs> I asked last week, and I'm like, "We got any MS employee outside of the one we know? Help me out. Like, do something about it." And two days ago, that switch got flipped. Happy to see it. Everything lit up in my dashboard, and it said I can't find a uh, site map. But I went to the site map thing, and it showed me the six site maps that it had indexed. So I just shut the door and walked off, man. I'm like, good. All right, it's showing up. So if you look for interfacing Linux on DuckDuckGo or Bing right now, you'll find it, and it'll be top results. Good. I'm happy about that. Also, I've been torturing Raspberry Pis this week, Jordan Swing, doing something that would probably give you a little bit of PTSD, my man. Oh, yeah? Yeah, not quite as bad as uh, from way back in the day. Well, I don't know. Um, Have you ever had to compile anything on a Raspberry Pi? Uh, I've had to compile things on the Gen 1 Raspberry Pi. Oh, bitch. You mean like this? Because that's <laughs> yeah, what this Raspberry is. Pi Zero. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it takes a minute, uh, doesn't it? This, this, this one. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you know, this one is superior. This is the W2, so it's quite... Oh, no, no. Well, yeah, it's it's new, right? Like, this is, this is like, first-run Raspberry Pi. Yeah. Right. Um, Speed-wise, same A53, this one's got four cores in it instead of one. That's the biggest difference right there, and it's only got 512 megajoules of RAM. But I'm working on a project that started out as, like, one of those, as many things do, like, I wonder, that'd be funny. Then it started working a little bit, and, like, I need to pursue this. So that's what I've been up to. Why do you just keep a, um... Raspberry Pi just sitting there, Jordan, just in case. You never know, somebody could kick that door, and you're like, fuck. You gotta reach Nin- over. Yeah, fucking ninja star that in their face. Sure, can. confuse yeah. them. You show them the S video out the composite, and you're like, "Look at this!" And they're like, "What is no. that?" I've, uh... So uh, okay, so I, I have I have a very simple explanation. You all have one of those drawers, right? It's the stuff drawer. It's the drawer where all the miscellaneous stuff goes. No, as an adult, Two, three, four, have you five, developed ten. the? <laughs> well, are we talking about? Because no, I don't anymore. I used to have the kitchen drawer. Mm. Now, if you're familiar with the kitchen drawer, it's that one drawer. Is like, hey, where's the? And if it's Where, not necessarily kitchen yeah. related, like like that packet of screws I bought, yeah, to do the thing that I never got around. Oh, that's in the kitchen drawer. That one. Yeah. So so that that, that drawer is like right over there. So, and I and I knew because I had looked in there for something else unrelated earlier in the week that there was the OG Raspberry Pi in there. So you brought it up, and I'm like, oh hey, I have thing handy. Good. Right on, man. Uh, did I'm, you? I'm just uh, like fucking Batman. Have fun on your uh, trip. Oh my uh-huh. god! So all right, all right. I, 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 will, I will tell I will tell one story from the wedding because all I right. Think, um. So it, it it took place. It was it was it was an outside wedding. I, I went I went to my cousin Ron's wedding. It was it was nice. He got married. There were congratulations, a lot of Ron. Yes, there there were a lot of speeches that were the same speech over and over and over again. But you know, people aren't people aren't good at writing speeches in general. We 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 we. As as podcasters were very experienced with this, but so you know, there I was minding my own business, defending there a box of kittens from a cobra. Yeah, exactly. And ninja uh, showed up, and then my cousin Ron showed up, and he kicked that box of babies so far. <laughs> uh, no, but while they while they were reading the vows, a Canada goose flies overhead. 
And I'm like, oh god, I really hope this thing doesn't start spraying shit everywhere. Because <laughs> that would have been fucking hysterical. I'm like, oh man, if our wedding if this wedding turned into fucking untitled goose game, this would have been the best wedding in the history of ever. You just hear like a semi-muffled <laughs> behind you and it's got a uh, knife. Yeah, it's like peace, <laughs> peace was never an option. I'm like, oh yeah, let's go to Unfortunately, we did not have an entitled Goose Game themed wedding. Did you gotta convince Sadness. the goose that no, I'm on your side. Yeah, yeah, no, no, this is, this is, we gotta we gotta Did you bring team, a man. knife for me? <laughs> did you bring enough <laughs> knives for the rest of the class? Are you gonna share? <laughs> Pedro Mateus. Hello. Hi. <laughs> How are things? I, I, I was totally missing last week, uh, celebrating 14 years. You were of, here. What are you talking about? Somehow not getting uh, rid of me. Just at because any you point? don't <laughs> want to publicly admit that you can maintain the shape of a cup. I understand. It's your superpower. <laughs> I get it. You don't want to flaunt it. It, it was uh, it, it, actually it was a very nice Saturday. We went to uh, Ely to have some sushi. And then we went to um, New Market to see the horses, and then right, uh, new, new New Market, England, not New Market, Ontario. Yes, right, right. <laughs> New I Market. I thought you were going to say uh, like, no, nah, Aldi's I think. Think. <laughs> dinner. Yeah, yeah, you got to take her on an expensive date, right, to the grocery store. Sushi was pretty expensive. <laughs> like, uh, that's a man still filling that sushi right there. For the two of us, uh, like the the thing of. With sushi and drinks was eighty seven pounds something. That's not horrible. <laughs> Which uh, I mean, it's listen, a little that's too not, much for two people. <laughs> that's not something you want to hit, you know, every day for lunch. But for yeah. dinner yeah. with two people, I mean, for I, for, for, for for a nice dinner, yeah, that's that's that's, that's what about it costs here to like go out to the movies, man. That's, that's for that's for a small popcorn. I haven't been to the movies fair. in a while, but uh, eighty seven. <laughs> you, you, dude, you can light a hundred bucks on fire with two oh, people yeah, in yeah. the movie. Yeah. It's not difficult. Yeah. It, it, yeah, it, 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 it's that it's that comic with the genie. It's like, yeah, you have a million dollars, but you got to spend it in a week. Can I use AWS? There are four rules. <laughs> <laughs> can, can I go to the movies? No. Something that's never been able to be captured properly in cinematic majesty. Correctly, I don't ma no matter the director that we've thrown at it. I always said nay. We're talking about the horse. Yeah, it's because you can't really capture it in widescreen. You need like tall screen. Panavision. It's like oh. cinematic vertical video. Oh, so you gotta like no. switch it 90 degrees. Horse talk. Yes, yes. It's the steam. Speaking of weird resolutions, you might be operating your computer at a very bizarre one. Um, if you're using a Steam Deck. You might you might know that like that 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 800p monitor is kind of little rotated normally, um, and yeah that that can, that can cause some that can cause some issues while you're docking, uh, and Valve has provided a handy way to deal with this. Um, in the per game settings, you can set a maximum resolution on your per game. So you, if you want to like capture restricted to a given resolution, there is now a global setting for this, which is really nice because. As any anyone who like has their settings locked in knows that like it's a real pain in the ass to go into every single game that you want to play and like set that one thing. So this is the same UI as uh, in the per game setting, except it applies globally. That's just nice to have. And I mean, it's yeah, no, right there too. You don't have to mess around with it. I mean, you can be this big. Period. No fuss. No discuss until you close Steam. Then it just goes to absolute haywire hell. Right, Pedro? I mean, th th this is for the Steam Deck, so. Chances are you're going to be doing this no. in game mode, so you're uh, running Steam all the time. We need top people. <laughs> no, this is this is why Linux just can't take off, man. <laughs> no, that's because we're not using uh, ray tracing. Open Source tumbleweed. Oh, yes. Stay tuned. Yeah. Stay tuned. Stick around for the more Oh, yeah. But uh, no, it, it, this is very good. This is a very good first step towards having a game scope button, so that uh, even people on desktop, uh, regular desktop Linux can have a button that says you run this in game scope and the max resolution basically just inherits that menu from the steam deck that's very good that, that i i look forward to having that button that'll fix a lot of issues and it'll stop a lot of people complaining about having to punch in the game scope uh launch codes before the percentage command and i'll percentage be perfectly button. happy you're welcome to do that <laughs> valve get it on the desktop right after you've added my mango hud button which you're working on right 
They it's, can do that too. That's a part of the it's, Steam Deck yeah, as well. It's, it's, in the, it's in the Steam Deck. There is a Mango Hut button. I don't know why they haven't. Uh, I want that, that on the desktop. I don't like that I'm too familiar with just going, you know, Mango Hut command, you know, pound command. I'm like, oh, come on, man. <laughs> just give me, you know, I want some little options to play around with. I don't like the or, extra or, steps. Or, or, you know what? Even global command prefixes, right? Like an option like this where you could just set it and be like, I want all my games to launch with well, Mango Hut. Well, then, if you just launch Steam with Mango Hut. I will throw you in traffic. All right. I look yeah, forward to you your can comments. Technically do that and launch Steam also from Gamescope. Or maybe if you're running Nabara, uh, you can use the Gamescope session and just pray that it works. <laughs> he missed last week. He's salty. We talked too much. Good stuff about old hotel. Nova. Shredder was trying to give me guff, so uh there you go. Here's some back. I'm gonna say everybody let me down last succeeded. week because you know me and Jordan we were talking about we'll, we'll get into this eight mail, but I'll tell you one thing. Like, I, I gave everybody the thing to do it, too. Because, you know, I did the Hotel Nobra, right? Mm -hmm. I was like, not Nobara, Hotel Nobra. And I called it the entire segment. I called it Nobra. No, bro. <laughs> no, no, nah, no bro. bites. <laughs> and I did. And I made sure I got the timestamp after that part. So nobody knew that. And I was like, I'm going to catch somebody. Nobody. <laughs> All right. Let's talk about some new games. New and exciting games coming to Linux. Let's talk about chickens, not geese. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. Awesome. You are a cat, and you get to lead your chicken friends, yes, uh, back to the coop, because they've had their day out with the platoon, and, uh, well, they got lost on the way, so you have to go find them and bring them back to the, uh... Pedro, you're le leaving go, out go, that, the, the, the chickens have on army hats and fully automatic assault yes. rifles. <laughs> the, the chickens are straight up playing vampire survivors while you get to herd them back into uh, their place of residence. Which is awesome. That's absolutely great. Honestly, uh, as variations on that particular style of game ever since Vampire Survivors came out, go. Hey, George, this it's got multiplayer. Pretty it good. does. It does, but it's it, local only. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Hey, George, um, it doesn't yeah. have multiplayer. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I mean, like, so, I, 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 I don't know. I, I, I don't know if my, my tune has changed on it, but I definitely see... At least this is a 2D game that you could play over remote play and it probably wouldn't eat too much shit. It just seemed, I don't know, this does seem like a very bloody Pikmin more than a, uh, more than Vampire Survivors or like the Savior Gang, but with guns. What version is Ubuntu currently at? Uh, 2404 is the LTS. All right, let's have yeah, a challenge pissing yeah. contest. Let's see if we can actually get this to run on Ubuntu 16. Can you get Ubuntu 16 to boot on like a modern computer now? <laughs> Uh, I don't know if you can get 1604, 1804, you'd probably be able to. <laughs> 16. Yeah, 16, 16 might be a little dicey to like, there, there's just going to be missing drivers, right? Like just hardware has moved on since then. Oh man. Uh, looking forward to it. A couple of game updates, something, this is more of a PSA than an update. Uh, this is something we all knew was coming down the pipe because it's been drip, 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 drip. And this is aimed to my brothers and sisters with Steam Decks, mostly, but a couple of you play this on the desktop, and it's always sad to see. Of course, we're talking about our good friends at EA. After doing it good, we were kind of feeling <laughs> EA's kind of changed their tune a little bit. Why? Because they added Steam Deck support to It Takes Two, and we're like, all right, you know, gotta, gotta give them claps. Not the clap, just a good clap when they do something that's really nice. Well, they're going to be bringing they're giving us kernel the level <laughs> anti-cheat for everybody that's right and i mean everybody all the games dude uh battlefield battlefield v5 battlefield one the new anti-cheat system they're rolling out completely incompatible with linux back users like whatever that sucks oh, if you've been if you bought the game because fuck you that's why mm -hmm. i mean that's what yeah, it says no. here at the end in small no it's in small <laughs> large print the blinking text on the page there, 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 there's a very very long spelled out because fuck you that's why <laughs> yeah was, was someone find the uh like first letter of each paragraph <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, just, it's, it's, it's yeah, it's a big acrostic it's like go fuck yourself you stupid assholes mm -hmm. Now, what um, winds me up a little bit, gentlemen, is since we know EA has addressed the existence of the Steam Deck by doing fixes for a game, an EA title published by EA, developed by EA, there's not a mention of Steam Deck or Linux in this entire notice. Absolutely. Yeah. This is, it, it, it's Battlefield. I think, I think yeah. 
<laughs> I think what what it what it is is EA is kind of like the chaos agent here. They're going to do some good stuff. They're going to do some bad stuff. In this case here, we can predict that like if there's going to be money on the line, if there's going to be like tournaments or microtransactions or anything like that, fuck it. Lock that shit down. Install the spyware on people's computers. We can't trust them. No one gives a shit about it takes two. It was critically acclaimed, but it's a co-op game. No one. It's not making any money outside of the initial sale. So and it's single and, player. And, well, sort of no, no sort of well and like you and you're only going to sell 50 percent of the copies so yeah yeah there's like yeah if we can get them to buy additional copies that's great but you know if there's additional money on the line i.e battlefields no fuck that shit now, here's something I, that's I, a little bit fascinating though because we're coming at this from like if you've already bought it and you've been playing it on steam deck or you've been playing it on your desktop which yeah. is up until it was working just fine i went over to the um battle bros subreddit they are very thankful about this because apparently there was no form of functioning anti-cheat and all of these games were just rotten infested to the core up we're talking peak tf2 which what three weeks ago level of um, <laughs> mad body going on like they're like finally give us but then again if you're on windows you're like you're used to like sending all your data and telemetry i i, well, I, I yes, especially I, if I, you've I, been playing battlefield because ea were uh, siphoning more than people were agreeing to back when they had Origin Pedro, going on. Pedro, 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 <laughs> if you read the FAQ, they've worked with the best experts, they've worked with the best consultants and contractors to make sure that their kernel level module is secure and won't snoop on anything else you're doing on your computer. We're not going to look at your browser history. We promise. Not we're just collecting it for security reasons. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, no, if the mere thought of electronic fucking arts installing a kernel level anything on your computer doesn't have you scared it should pedro bruh, i'm not bruh, I'm, I'm not afraid listen, of software bro my, my gun go burr <laughs> fuck off nerd gun I'll, go burr i'll fight a computer i think i think i can beat up a computer i don't know man i've seen some pretty mean mean computers dude i i, I don't think i could beat up an xbox i don't think i could beat up anything running open Sue's tumble i have I some pretty heavy else. laptops so. I don't think beating up an end. I think you'd get in trouble like socially if anybody beat up an Xbox these days because like it's struggling too much, man. Like that's punching down hard. That's true. Yeah. May, may, maybe a Series X, not a Series S. Maybe. Uh, may, maybe. Series S. Uh, uh, yeah, just buy the cheap one. It, it's better. <laughs> no, no, no. We need to like. Uh, why can Sony get this right and Microsoft can't? Because Sony's getting the PS. 5 Pro Five is about Pro, to come yeah. out. And mm-hmm. like that'll work. Because somehow, like the PS4 and the PS4 Pro worked. Microsoft can't figure it out. Is it the naming with the because I have no idea what the XS, whatever I call it the SSX X yes. tricky because I have no idea. Nor do I care. Microsoft to look it up. have been uh, confusing people with the naming scheme because they can't maintain one. <laughs> Let's look at yeah. Windows naming, shall Let's we? Let's go with like a yo and a low, you know? The, 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 the S means small, and the X means extreme! But X meant Twitter. <laughs> the, the, I mean, I mean as, as much as Elon would like that to be the case, no. I'll keep calling it Twitter. <laughs> they, they, they call it the Roger Center, I'm gonna call it the Sky Dome. You can't make me change. Um, but you might be able to change the operating system on your Frog Ally. Yes. Now that yeah. it's going to be officially supported. <laughs> uh, yeah, so Tom's Guide uh, went through the torturous journey to hell that is installing Bazite on the Steam Deck. Or not on the Steam Deck, <laughs> on the ROG Ally, I should say. And uh, just because, you know, we, we got we to know. They added gotta try, the support. Gotta do something with it, right? right? Yeah, they, they, they announced that they're adding support for, like, the ROG Ally controllers and whatnot. So d- does it work? And so this guy decided to chop off his arm and cauterize the wound and use his severed limb to install Linux on your ROG ally because that's what it requires. Warning, setup is a pain. It's very painful. No, apparently you got to hold down the volume button to get to the BIOS. Then you can select a bootable USB and uh, like, let's be real, if you can't get through an Anaconda install these days, that's a you problem. That is so dirty easy. I, I, I can't even. But yes, uh, once you actually get Bazite installed, which is a Fedora Atomic based SteamOS derivative, uh, you can see for yourself that the performance on uh, Bazite is actually way better than on the Ally than it is on Windows, quite substantially, kind of reinforcing the fake news that were spread last week. Dude, you but, you sound oh, yeah. like one of the, uh, you, you must be one of those ray tracers. 
Oh yeah, dude, I'm 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 tracing so hard. I'm I'm I'm, I'm edging. Yeah, no, I'm 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 real uh, no, edging. No, see, uh, for deck like hardware, it's fine. It's when you get into ray tracing, that's like forty percent worse. Well, so what are that. we talking about, man? <laughs> let's let's look at let's just like Cybertruck twenty seventy seven. Everybody's familiar with that. You got a copy of it. Check it. Ten eighty p medium preset AMD with the FSR is on performance mode. The rug with Windows eleven thirty six FIRPS, Steam OS forty two. Pretty solid. Yeah. <laughs> We're seeing that 10%, aren't we? Yeah. I'm yeah. seeing a bit more than 10%. Whoa, there, whoa, whoa, yeah. whoa, <laughs> Tetris Effect, 46 FERPs on Windows 11 versus 61 FERPs on SteamOS. And Forza yep. is a little less extreme at 53 versus 59 on the on Windows versus SteamOS, that respectively. One's about, yeah. <laughs> that but, one's about. But still, the, uh, like, it's still consistently <laughs> higher. So. You know, it's 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 good it's good to see that even on supported platforms, SteamOS is still the bee's knees. I what I want to know is, can we replicate this on the Claw and on non AMD GPU with the with the with the Intel? I think you can replicate it on anything with a CPU and RAM in it. Though that'll run x86, <laughs> dude. Here's another thing, though. It's not all about FPS go burr. No, no, no. There's another very very important metric for NL gaming: battery life. How long yes. can you game with what games? And you think traditionally, Linux, and you'd be right, sucks on laptops. That would be your data point, wouldn't it? You're like, yeah. Windows usually has the edge on power consumption. Really yeah. does. I mean, and we've gotten to the point to where that's the factual statement, other than you just want to watch your laptop die quick. <laughs> we've made progress. However, things have changed just a bit in this land. Look at this, back with the cyber trucks. So you're getting about, what, two hours, 31 minutes. That's 1080p medium, performance mode. How long are we getting with that uh, Asus ROG, Pedro? Uh, uh, on um, Steam OS, they call it, but it isn't. It's Bassite. Apparently, they're getting over three hours, which is another 30 minutes on top of that, which seems to be accurate, like that percentage difference. Is very much accurate between Tetris Effect and Forza Horizon Five. Do you have any idea it, how much how much additional cyber trucking one can get done in thirty minutes? I can drive from one let you drive city to another whole city. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> lets me get from yeah. one mission to another, which hopefully is enough. To I get could to a play through that half of the detective thing at the beginning of the game and quit yet again. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I need to actually get down and uh, get through the tutorial. <laughs> But it, it takes a while. It's, but, it's, yeah, it's no, a rough it one. Is, yeah. It's legitimately nice to see the reinforcement from what you guys discussed last week about Nabara being 10, 11% better um, on average than Windows 11. And now we have Bazite, which is also based on Fedora or like Fedora uh, Kinoite or Silver Blue with Gamepad UI if you want to be reductive. Um, but it is a very similar to much better uh, performance difference on the ROG Ally specifically, which is good. It's good. All those people that we'll get to in the comments. <laughs> That's very good. <laughs> More fake news, because you see there was a new version of Windows that came out this week that added all the performance back. So maybe when they get done testing that, old Windows will have caught up with Linux. <laughs> it's true, but this isn't the only uh, this isn't the only Bazite story we have this week. It's mm -hmm. it's getting it's making the rounds. That's just software, homie. Yes, yeah. uh, it is. And uh, well, uh, you may remember uh, Emu Deck when the Steam Deck first released, like the first big concentrated effort to have something that would set up all of your emulators and I don't know. My games. first thought was like somebody assaulting large flightless birds. <laughs> yes. You pick, you pick emu an emu deck. and emu I'll punch decks. it to death. <laughs> you, want, you want some emu burgers? But yeah, the just getting all of that set up with minimum hassle uh, and having the games show up in game mode, which is very important on the Steam Deck. So, one of the big projects, maybe the first one, uh, and if not, certainly the one that took off the earliest, was Emu Deck. And, well, they're still around, they're still developing their thing, and now they're thinking, you know what? We've seen those Android uh, consoles that they keep releasing on Amazon and eBay and whatnot. We want to do something like that, but for our software, for Emudex specifically. So, they decided to put Bazite into something that looks 
Legally, Strangely undis- similar. I mean, no, Mm-mm. it's it, it's, it's to the, the Dreamcast. Dreamcast. No, yeah. you're seeing things. There's no <laughs> no comparison. None. <laughs> Strangely similar to the uh, the Dreamcast, and it's, they it's have the nightmare they're throw. They're currently going through um D and D go go. Like, okay, let's have people throw money first. To I see, mean, does it have um, a compartment in the back of high drugs? Can, no, can, it has can the, you, the can, can you pop the thing up <laughs> to just like put a CD in? It doesn't right. even like oh, read the no, CD. Dude, like, it's just, just put it no, in there. Jordan, Jordan, there's there, put a mirror under that top part and let it pop it off. <laughs> oh, oh no, but like, like 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 a makeup powder or something, so you can like powder yourself. Powder, yeah, powder your nose. Yeah, but yeah, it, it is uh, the the Indiegogo campaign is currently ongoing. I think they're out of the variant, which. Uh, the M- EM1, as they call it, which has the Intel N97 CPU. Which oh, that, that, that list of not playable is pretty funny. Y- yeah, it, it, just looking at the list of games that actually work is not great, and uh, it was 300 pounds or 299, which is not just, that's a bit of an ask for an N97 running pass. I, that That's a bit of an ask. So now they have uh the I was looking at it earlier. They have the DIY, which is just the shell with the ports and everything that you can effectively connect to your own motherboard, whatever you decide to use in it. So uh yeah, it's I, I look forward to it. I look forward to seeing what people do with it because this is um, overclocked. It's one of those interesting things that some people will actually make. A really interesting project out of this, and I, as much as I love Emu Deck, I knew <laughs> they like have a bunch of like extra Stadia controllers that Google get it. Like, yeah, it's not away. a Stadia controller. It's close enough, but that's not a Stadia controller. <laughs> I mean, if you handed me that and be like, "This was once a Stadia controller," I, I, I mean, uh, what, what they the did was they put it. They, are, they, uh... they, they, they loaded it in GIMP and they moved the analog sticks around. Yeah, that's what they did. <laughs> Let, let, let's, let's talk let's about what this thing has under the hood, man. AMD Ryzen 8600G. That's going to be the one you want, though, right? Yeah. Yeah, that one's not 300 bucks, is it? No, no that one's um, in pounds. It's 579. <laughs> That's 675 wet, stinky American caches, man. Uh, they do have a fantasy of shipping these in December, though. And lo and behold, if we keep going down... <sighs> They're going to build a dock. That's right, kids. The Sega Tower of Power will return. You can add something to the dock that will increase your GPU performance. I don't know exactly how that works. It could be magic. I think it's, I think it's just Thunderbolt GPU with a fancy connector. But what I would love to see, because this, this is including a dedicated GPU, I would love to see a hot swappable one, though. Something that you can just plug like any GPU into. As opposed to one that looks like it's just embedded in the I would like, double D attachment. Like, if I looked at it from, like, an engineering thing, um, they're currently 25% off, so if you want the basic one, yeah, I think we wouldn't need to go back to the playable versus unplayable. Um, yeah, that, that cheap one, that DIY one, it's literally just the shell and the ports. There's no motherboard in it. You're supplying your own there. Oh, you are? <laughs> yes. Where is the uh, chart with uh, what's playable and what's not? Here we go. Yeah, oh, yeah, M1. yeah, yeah. So let's see. The inexpensive e1 version intel n97 uh cyberpunk Not user GT, upgradable. a v red dead redemption last of us doom counter-strike counter-strike 2 is not playable on that thing god damn elden ring forza uh, returnal <laughs> and final fantasy so that's a chunk of stuff that you would basically expect to be able to run so here's no, your no first PCS3 problem with that. or xenia either yeah you can't rock and roll with that and that's still going to cost you like almost 200 bucks like just for that ability, not too much. Here's the biggest problem with that: for a hundred bucks, actually about eighty bucks, <laughs> you can get an HP Elite S seven hundred five G four Mini, like the one I reviewed on Interfacing Linux, that can play all those fucking games, and it's probably a little smaller. Uh... But you can't stack it. <laughs> I need my stacks. You give me some tape, and I can add a dock to it. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, needs, no, needs uh, more uh, slight correction. Cement. Earlier, I said uh, 579. No, my bad. It was 759 euros for the uh, EM2 EU version. So that that's my bad. Yeah, go go, go go build yourself a desktop. 
Kind of, yeah. Kinda, <laughs> There's got to be a market for this. I don't want to shit on it. Uh, they, you know, people got to try stuff like this. You know, it's very early 3D printed. They're gonna, probably going to run into a lot of logistics stuff. I don't see where the value add is just in here looking at it. Because, like, again, when I was originally talking about, like, the cheap 5600Gs and stuff like that showing up on the market for, like, sub 100 bucks, like, that just fucked up a lot of things like that. And having this... Neat idea. I just don't see where the market is. Like, I hope people buy it. If you want it, it's going to be available. And it's Indiegogo, so I think it's flex funding. Get your money out there. Get yours if you want it. It'll be a good collector's item. As for like the real usability of it, though, yeah, I I wouldn't buy it. I don't know. No, pe- pe- people no. do want the steam brick, but at, at that point, yeah, just build your own. Honestly, yeah, the, or yeah, like Van was saying that um, the HPs or the Dells, like the ultra small well, ones, yeah, 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 the, the small business computers, with, yeah, with the um, five thousand series Ryzen's. Or even the 7000s with like the 780M GPU. The moment you can get one of those for reasonably cheap, second hand, it's already a much better value proposition than this. <laughs> so, yeah, no, this is straight up to support the people who are developing yeah. um, Emu Deck. Mm-hmm. That is out. your reason to buy this. <laughs> and if, if you want people to ask if that thing in your house is actually a Dreamcast. Mm-hmm. It's, a right. it's a good conversation starter. There you go. Put an N64 sticker on it and call it a day. <laughs> no, th- throw an Apple sticker on it. Oh, what what was the name of the um, Apple console? No cheating. The not the Newton. No. Uh, I would have remembered if I'd kept my whore mouth shut. Um, <laughs> isn't that how it always uh, is? Oh uh, no! I'm sure, I'm sure. I'm sure Mir will be spamming it in a couple it, minutes. I mean, yes. Uh, Someone helps do the Google search for us. Pippin. Oh, they're they're, they're yeah. Pippin. Speaking of Nintendo and emulators. A little bit easier uh, these days. <laughs> Flatbacks. Yes, they're a thing. And uh, the Dolphin emulator has had a unofficial flatback for a long time that everyone was like, yeah, it's unofficial, but it's basically just the flatback of Dolphin. So it was kind of official of sorts. And now that the um dolphin developers have gone okay this steam deck thing it's very popular and we want to make dolphin as easy to install as possible and you don't really have repos that are accessible in the traditional way on the steam deck so let's get the flat pack and make it official i, I mean so, they, they they did try to get it on steam legitimately and nintendo was like no yep. They they tried and uh, Valve went to Nintendo and Nintendo said it wasn't okay so can't have that so Oatmeal Dome went to the GitHub for the project that's creating the unofficial now official uh, flatback and says very politely very cordially all the way through it's like hey you know uh, Dolphin Project's been going on for eight years and we've been uh, doing the Linux thing and now we want to make this uh, flatback official. What do you need for us to be in charge of it, to get everything going, change the domain so it's proper, the proper domain, get everything up and running? And they go back and forth so very cordially. It's just progress all the it's way down. It's amazing when you see two people both invested in getting something done work together. Yeah, two it? people with the same goals and actively, you know, agreeing with each other and being nice to one another. And I'm sitting here going... I thought the Linux community was supposed to be toxic. What happened? Pedro, I, you can sleep well this morning knowing that that new green screen still has yet to be implemented. <laughs> My OBS project. Well, so, it's, uh, so, 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 I mean, I don't know. They're, they're, they're pretty toxic to the Linux community. We don't want your Jack. We don't want your pipe wire. Get your, get yeah, your, no, OBS. Get your stuff yeah, out of here. That, it's nothing new. <laughs> yeah, but this was and just some random that's guy. That's not just like, the Linux yeah. community; is literally anyone who wants to contribute to OBS. No, 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 well, they just kick them. First thing is kick. <laughs> oh, 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 no! O- OBS is just hostile in general. Uh, yeah. Yeah, like, as, as Pedro said, like I read through that, I'm like cordial is like the one word you could accurately use to describe this. It is so polite, and it's just like we would love to make this official. And the guy's like, I would love if you would do this. And yeah. Other projects, take note, because, you know, we're all on the same freaking Linuxy side, so it's helpful to remember that. We, we're, all, we're all working towards the same goal. 
the the developer of the unofficial plant pack and even got to slide in the uh yeah no i already have a pull request uh open for that and the developer goes oh so you do can you just rebase that on the latest version and submit it again yeah. done there you go implemented there no, we go. i want to imagine that somebody did that for snap and it's just shit talking all the way down <laughs> yeah it's, it's, it's just an entire thread of goat seed but it just devolved into just That's like horrible. Hor horrible horrible stuff but hey this is good news it is uh love it or hate flat packs containerization you got the steam deck there's your use case for it right there man brilliant brilliant way to get your uh emulator deck up and emulating your decks yeah. i'm trying I to get super by valve and nintendo pedro that's what i'm going for it's like super okay. Dave just Bio put a sunshine tag on a uh, games console that runs emulators i don't know i don't pretend Seems to know risky. how it works uh <laughs> box 64 risk 5 in 2024 is it gonna happen well, 2024 is almost over, but we need to drag the corpse of the Witcher 3 pack out yet again. So I'm just going to stop and thank you, media, uh, game reviewers, hardware reviewers. You're finally not dragging poor Witcher 3, the 50-year-old game, into your benchmarks anymore, going, it could run Witcher. And I'm like, iGPUs can run Witcher now. It runs on the Switch. Calm the hell Except down. Except for the RTX version. Stop talking about ray tracing. You're spreading ray all the Ray tracing fake doesn't news. work on Linux. No, no, it works. It has a 40% performance hit. Citation no, needed. It, fucking Susie user, man. Calm <laughs> down. No, it, no it, it, just, it just doesn't work. It's just unacceptable. Doesn't work at all. So I thought this was kind of interesting because I've been playing around with Box64. What is Box64? It's the thing that lets you run x86 code on Risk Five on ARM. ARM64, 32, big little Indian. You want to rock and roll? You can do it. And maybe you didn't know the Witcher 3 actually runs on Risk 5 at a solid F 15 FPS. <laughs> all right. On a Risk 5 SOC. And, you know, some of you I've seen in like Steam reviews would call that, what's the word? I'm like, playable. Yeah, yeah playable. I've seen that word tossed around quite liberally. But it does require a 64 core Risk 5 PC, Box 64, and of course, a very healthy smearing of Linux. There's a little video up there for a video um watchers let's see what this looks like all right first of all graphically they got this thing crank cranked down to sub switch levels <laughs> but it's running the this motion is, blur <laughs> this is where we're at right now running functioning this is amazing if you know what you're looking at you know because you're using wine here on top of box 64 with dx vk and it's running this is what we're excited about because it's just it's going to get better from here it is, um, but it's not just software that needs to improve. Uh, going through the going through the blog post because uh, they, they went through the entire process of how they got this implemented. Um, there are a bunch of instructions that exist on LongArch and ARC64 that you can use to implement a lot of like AVX and SSC features uh, on other CPUs that just don't exist in Risk V, and it's not like for any sort of ideological reasons. Just no one has made the hardware yet. No one has like made the instructions yet. And so there are a lot of gaps. There's a lot of things that need to be implemented using Dude, other doesn't that give you like a little bit of pause? We're like, oh, I might want to wait for the next one that has that instruction set up. Well, yeah, like be being being able to like copy <laughs> stuff out of registers and like only change specific values in, in like registers that you copy. Like, yeah, it seems like a lot of very, very like simple instructions are just missing outright. Um, so uh, this will especially cause problem for Unity games, which heavily use a lot of these instructions. So while uh, well, it's, it's funny that Ben is like, you know, it, it's it's good that we stopped dragging out this old game to run our benchmarks. This is the only game that Box 86 could have run on Risk V, <laughs> re realistically. So um, that, that that's kind of where we're at at the moment. But yeah, it looks like uh, it looks like we're going to need to see some uh, development in the hardware space. New instructions. We might need Risk Six before this is even feasible, just because you, you know, or you need a, a bunch of like vendor specific extensions. Well, I know what the problem is. You know, I saw some of this on uh, Reddit uh, in the past week. Uh, they, they were using Debian, Debian 12, and XFCE. Ah, yeah. They, they got to use Arch. Yeah, right. You need like three Arches and Risk 11D. <laughs> Rich Arch. Rarch. Oh, that's, that's a man of uh, class and style right there. <laughs> Debian 12, XFCE. They, they, that is somebody interested in getting shit done and shit done they did. Fantastic work. And I've been playing with Box 64. I was talking to the pre pre Super Shows. Amazing. Scandinavian witchcraft all the way down. <laughs> 
don't really have to mess with it. It just does stuff and you cut on logging, cut on like warnings, because that's fascinating. It makes you feel like you're hacking something. Well, it's <laughs> trying to get the executed thing pops up. You're like, oh, and it's pretty stable. So excellent to see. Uh, I, I'm still waiting around. I'm still right, waiting around like these super cheap, like in one hundreds and stuff like that. We all want a arm based, you know, or a risk based something on the desktop eventually, because even if you're in it just for the power, man, just for the power doesn't, savings, it doesn't even need to be the best. It just needs to be competitive. <laughs> well, we've seen what Apple can do. We, we've seen what fuck you money applied to arm can produce for consumers, I should say. And in, uh, in enterprise, we've seen what fuck you money yes, and yes. Graviton can do. R yeah, yes. right. <laughs> I, dude, Grav I, man, Graviton's been great. I've been, we've been moving, we've been moving workloads over and that shit is like, oh, you, you, you don't know the difference. It's, it's, <laughs> it's great. Oh my God. And, and, and this and is Gra Graviton four is out now. Hot damn. <laughs> oh, I like love getting... this first comment. You're like, well, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ah, the, the, uh, instead of uh, going uh, from let, 10 let me assembly um, splain. Yeah, right. Yeah. Symbol splain in. Instead of 10 lines, it's just eight. Uh, but yeah, like, it, yeah, why don't you it, it is submit a submit it, It's a really good way of doing um finding out exactly what you're missing on your, you know, entire new architecture. <laughs> throw a game at it. Th throw End user software. See what it what it's expecting, and see what your shortcomings well, are. Like, <laughs> we we saw Nvidia do it. They were fixing wine bugs on the Nvidia driver because mm -hmm. it was exposing it was exposing stuff in their OpenGL implementation. Like no one is using our shit like this, and it's clearly right. broken. We got to fix it. Yeah. And uh, the original. Uh, I'm sorry. Linux what Jordan meant to say was Nvidia bad. These boys with their grudges. Let's talk about some. <laughs> A little more entertaining. A little happy love story. A little you're gonna, you're gonna give me a little kiss? A spit. You know, that comes with a healthy dose of oh shit, the game mono. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, I, I but it's the good kind of mono, sort of kind hey, of baby. Not, um, not really. Call me. I gotta talk. <laughs> yeah. I gotta I gotta call all my partners, excuse me. Uh, yeah, so this is, comes from monoproject.com. All the links to all this stuff is in our show notes. Yeah, Mono is no longer being owned by Microsoft. They have foisted it onto uh, the Wine Project. And, you know, you, you, I, I, I think a lot of people are having some mixed reactions to this because a lot of folks are like, hey, good on Microsoft for not like just completely dumpstering this thing. You gave it to some stewards who are going to keep it uh, up and running, um, the, mostly the people who are using it. But on the other hand, this is this is classic Microsoft. Hey. We're, we've we finished extracting all the value we can out of this. .NET Core exists on Linux. You can install it on Fedora now. Stop using this thing. Come on to come come into our fully controlled ecosystem. Um, yeah. So and and that's that's basically where it's at right now. Uh, most of most of the uh, un unless you're a legacy Mono app that can't really use any new .core, .NET Core functionality. Uh, you'll still need to be using Mono. Uh, but everything else they want you to move on to the new uh, .NET Core. And it is what it is, right? Like, um, uh, we, we've, we've seen a lot of mono-based stuff thanks uh, on Linux, just thanks to Unity, because that's uh, mono-based. And yeah, is, 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 it, is it good? It's bad? It's kind of a resounding meh, in my opinion. I mean, mono has <laughs> just been like swapped around, like, oh, we're done using you. Who wants yeah, you yeah. next? All right. Yeah, Pre pretty, pretty much. We're, 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 we're done with you. <laughs> it's like, it's like, it's. I, I, I thought about this uh, while I was walking the dog today. It's like how Amazon donated uh, Lumberyard to the Linux Foundation. It's like, oh, that's nice of them, right? So, no, they just like we don't want to. We don't want to work on this anymore. Like, you, we you, we you don't want that tech that anymore. Goodbye. You, 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 you take it. <laughs> that, that that's what this kind of smells like to me. Yeah, no, and it is very much the like that 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 little line that they have in the thing is uh, Microsoft maintains a modern fork of Mono runtime in the .NET slash runtime repo. And we've been progressively moving workloads to that fork. That work is now complete, and we recommend that active mono users and maintainers of mono-based apps migrate to .NET, which includes that working fork. Get fucked. Eh? Don't you want to install the .NET runtime every <laughs> time you install a piece of software <laughs> on Linux? Yeah. It's just a good thing that you gave this to the Wine Project, arguably the biggest project that actively uses mono for those .NET implementations and that 
compatibility. And now that Proton is a thing and the Steam Deck has turned out fairly popular, even bigger. Um, so it makes, makes perfect sense. That, that bit makes perfect sense. I'm down. I thought it was kind of uh, fascinating, man. Um, you know, being able to run .NET back at apps on Linux, uh, it, it's a benefit for Microsoft, always has been, will continue to be. Like, having that there, you know, even in the long run, I could see the point of like, hey, we're going to put this out there. Let them maintain it. We want to go with it, but it's going to benefit us. Like, somebody had a little foresight to get that. And it made me think about a couple of things. First time Microsoft ever had an opinion on the Wine Project. Because if you weren't around in the early days, and I'm talking like 2001, we were kind of sitting around like Pedro was like, Valve well, going to sue somebody. We were just like, <laughs> Microsoft going to sue somebody, man. And like, we're going to get in trouble. Never really happened. And the first word they ever said officially about the Wine Project was in 2005. I mean, we, we knew that Microsoft knew Wine existed, and they were kind of okay with it. They, they gave uh, the Wine Project... A little bit of a wink because they put a check for uh, Wine's registry keys and Windows Update. And they were like, We know you're around. We got you, man. Don't worry about it. Or at least somebody, that person maybe got taken out and like immediately dismissed from their job at Microsoft. But that did happen. And there's never <laughs> I, been any. It makes like, sense because you don't want, uh, it's like, you're not running on Windows. Stay the hell away from Windows Update. Thank you. <laughs> but, but like the, the, these days, like if you, if you look at uh, web servers and stuff, like nobody wants to run IIS. You want to run your you want to run your app out of Nginx. You maybe Apache if you're real desperate. So yeah, being being able being light able HTTP. to HTTP. <laughs> nah, maybe I don't I don't know I don't, I don't even fuck around with light HTTP. Uh, but the, yeah, but the the the, the point the point is like and hell even uh, with Azure right they're moving a bunch of their workloads to Azure Linux those are going to be running mm -hmm. .NET on the back end this yeah as as Ven is saying this purely benefits Microsoft they're move as they're moving their back end out of Windows into stuff that is more stable and maintainable and won't will not randomly blue screen their infrastructure when an antivirus update gets pushed out get out the red yarn put it on the wall <laughs> UFO Pepe posters Pepe Sylvia Pepe Sylvia here's how it works because they want the groundwork they want all the maintenance there when Microsoft finally goes you know what we're just going to move everything over to Linux. They want all that Chrome work. Yeah. There you go. There's your crackpot uh, theory. <laughs> when, when Windows 12 is just going to be Ubuntu. Lin 12. <laughs> L12. Ubuntu L fucking skin. 12. XKCD goes full circle. <laughs> Win Windows. It's, it's Welsh. Lou, Lou Windows. <laughs> you're you're going to need some more vowels. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> just throw a bunch of consonants together. Someone will work out how to spell it. <laughs> Somebody will just nail it, and they're like, "That's not a word. You're just yeah, grunting." I, yeah, I, listen, I'm not going to question it. <laughs> if you say that's how it's pronounced, I believe you. Last bit for tonight is dreaming of electric doom. The longer AI neural models and systems are around, the more time that's going to free up for people to just start having some fun, playing around with it, making things that make you go, "What really?" Talking about. <laughs> Real-time recordings of people playing the game Doom that are being simulated entirely by a neural model. What we're looking at, what we're about to watch, that game does not exist. That is not running on a game engine. And it is being actively interacted with in real time. Now granted, at 20 FPS. And it's just wild that this works and that it's, it's working fast enough to be a game. You're effectively controlling a hallucination by the machine right now. You know, a dream, if you will. And you know what? Is this useful right now? Absolutely not. No, it isn't. But it's really interesting. I think this is like just a little bit of a sneak peek at what might be commonplace 10 years from now. Absolutely it is. Think about it. We could have that, uh, you know, people like procedurally gen generated whatnots. And like, there's your forever DLC. This is the worst it will ever be. Today, right now, when we're watching it, it'll get nothing but better on down the road. What are our thoughts on this? How did they pull it off? They just trained it on uh, Jordan, uh, just like a bunch of data, right? Just yeah, well, they, people they, playing they, Doom. Yeah, they, they uh, had a bunch of real life players because they they, they needed to uh, they needed to be able to you know have have the model uh, handle it. So yeah, they they had a bunch of real life players run through it. They had a model analyze it, and yeah, that, and that is why this looks like Doom, and the level layouts are pretty much Doom. 
because it is, it is, it, it is basically just trained on the entirety of it. There's a weird bit of like verisimilitude in that, like the way like the enemies sort of fade in, like that's mm-hmm. kind of how you would perceive demons, right? Kind of reminds me a bit of how the enemies are warp in in Serious Sam. It's like, yeah, that's kind of how it w- would look like if you were on Mars and a demon appeared in front of you out of nowhere. That's kind of neat. Yeah, uh, it's it's impressive. Uh, it needs a tensor processor unit, you know, one of the big NVIDIA tensor <laughs> processor units to run it, and it can only do 20 frames a second, so... Ooh. But it it apparently gets real uh, hallucinatory um, once it, it, the longer you play. It starts getting worse and worse because it has less data what, what? because... The first two or three levels of the original Doom, tons of videos, tons of people that can get through that pretty easily, and they can probably get a complete um, map of it, uh, and at least enough data to reproduce it accurately. As soon as you walk away from that, it gets bad. (laughs) It gets really bad, and I don't think that's... For okay, if you're trying to recreate something, absolutely, probably not a good idea to just deviate from the thing and start making up stuff like generative AI is off to do. But if you change that point of view to something like a new game, it's not Doom, it's not whatever game um, you might think of, it's an entirely new game that you get to play through for the first time, and it's all completely generated on the fly. That doesn't matter if it's hallucinating or not. It certainly presents a possibility. I think um I think I think this is gonna be like, as Ven alluded to, useful for like roguelikes where things are like very, very repeated and you have like tile sets and enemies that can be placed. Minecraft. Uh yeah, my, 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 something Minecraft, that's already like yeah. hyper procedurally generated. Like yeah. this this is gonna be baby steps. Like this you you shoot this down two decades or, you know, this is probably just old man. Like, no, you know, somebody actually working. I was like, Vin, you mean like three years, uh, two decades in my head. I'm like, talk about being able to prompt a game from, you know, you, we, what do we have right now? Like RPG maker, right? Yeah. It's like, well, you, I drag the things here and I do a little scripting. What if you're scripting? It does come down to like, okay, I need this type of level with this atmosphere and da, 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 boom. I I th- I think and I I don't, we'd we'd get a lot of homogenous games, but we're also currently getting a lot of homogenous games. So I don't yes. know if that's going to be a, uh, <laughs> if, if, if 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 that if that is if that is a bad thing necessarily, or if it's just the lateral move. Yeah, I mean, you know, like the entire concept of a two D platformer was just one and done with Mario, right? Absolutely, Cubert yeah. Cubert Cubert is the OG. Mm. The yes. <laughs> what would we because. I I want to see how this is going to be used. Like, this is fascinating being able to control this. Like, yeah, you're going to need a billion dollars worth of NVIDIA cards, so like six of them to do this right now. But as what I'm saying, as a compute becomes cheaper, omnipresent, like, no game engine, really. I don't, well, I I mean, if if, if NVIDIA prices ever come down, ever. (laughs) And you train it on Doom, and you train it on Hello Kitty Island Adventure? No, I, I I want it trained on the Noah's Ark version of Doom, but like then on it the, starts on like the it, SNES. Yeah, on on the on the SNES Noah's Ark Doom, I want that trained. But then midway through, switch it to actual Doom, so that it becomes like really biblically <laughs> accurate. It just starts uh, deteriorating into the um. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, man. Like, be not afraid. 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 I had a good laugh at that man. Uh, what, what's uh from uh Dodger? What's her name? Mm-hmm. I don't know, Brooke. Yeah. Yeah. She started doing that VTuber type stuff. Yeah. And she was played around with that. I went back because you were talking about her setting that stuff up. Mm. And I'm like, all right, let me go see how that was. And she clicked on something on her little avatar thing and it like put up like 11 D eyes on her and her just immediate reaction was to be not afraid. Yeah. I'm like, well played, well played. <laughs> yeah. B- biblically accurate mushroom. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta love it. All right. We got some hate mail coming up for you in just a second, but hey, if you like what we do, you want to help us out, make it rain some much stinky caches all over us and get a bunch of cool shit in return, head over to Linux Gamecast, hit the support tab, become one of our beautiful party patrons, hop in our Discord, get the live and uncut versions of these shows, get to spend all kind of bonus time with us the other six days of the week. 
chilling out, talking, smacking our Discord. Come play Trek Mania on Tuesdays and Fridays on our private server. If you're looking for that, man, we got the 30-year-old-plus friend starter kit on Tuesdays and Fridays. You need to take advantage of it. You're sitting around going, I can't make friends. Yes, you can. Promise you. Come check it out. We got Amazon Wishlist. We got a merch store. We even have an Amazon storefront, but I'm not even sure what's oh, I know what's on there. There's studio equipment and shit like that. Patreon.com forward slash Linux Gamecast. Get you in with all the business. We appreciate it. We'll put your name in the credits. And uh, yeah, get these Yahoo some off their wish list. They got to read a little piece of paper as punishment for thanking you. You can write a little note. You get something for the studio, I will publicly shame your ass back here. That's not like a, oh, you're so special. I'm like, these people are bad with their money. There we go. Humble affiliate links and so much more. Loud, live, independent, downloadable. Oh, yeah. If you're a patron, you get a commercial free downloadable video version of this. That's going to look better than it does on YouTube. But that's not saying much, unfortunately, because YouTube's pretty gnarly with that video processing. Yeah. What was that face, Pedro? <laughs> That was the face of someone who uses Firefox and uh, made the mistake of attempting to watch a YouTube video. Ah, yeah, yeah. Firefox the, the, this week got like bonus week. slow, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. No, no. Well, YouTube, YouTube pushed out some changes like, fuck all you Mozilla users in particular. So, oh, you're using money. Firefox, are you? Okay, then we're going to make this website even more. Firefox worse. is like, yeah, it was already like a, there was a base level of mankiness to going to YouTube on Firefox of like, you just deal with it. You just deal with it. You're like, this is going to take a minute. Reasons. And uh, yeah, it was like freezing and pausing there for a little bit on, uh, I think, Thursday. Google, Google, it, yeah, pure, that, purely, that's when you go to reasons. NVIDIAS and pick your favorite uh, channel and paste in the YouTube link and watch it. <laughs> no, I just went to the YouTube oh, alternative. I, I, went, I, went to, I, I went to AMDS and did the same thing. Yes, good old AMDS. <laughs> Instead of NVIDIAS, I don't know. So everybody, uh... We talked about Linux embarrassing Windows 11 last week, which turned out to be like it was factually correct. And we had some people in the comments, mm -hmm. you know, one of my favorite ones was the person who didn't understand basic, uh, like, Numbers. lines on a graph. We did get some hate mail in the show notes. Uh, we got the first one from uh, Beco Farm, about, or Beco, yeah, Beco Farm, about uh, Civ, uh, because that Civ 7 is coming, uh, coming to Linux, supposedly, if the system requirements are, be, are to be believed. Um, and they write in and say, Avid Civ player here since the very first one on Amiga, smiley face. Sadly, the Aspire ports are rather broken, and it's Proton all the way. Both 5 and 6 will eventually start to crash and or run out of memory, and both are so freaking slow compared to the Windows version with Proton. It's my understanding that we won't see any fixes too because the contracts are void now? Question mark? Still excited for 7. Smash that Proton think... button, fam, and you're done with it. Problem solved. All right. <laughs> I don't think Aspire uh, wants... Not to do it <laughs> no they're, 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 they're too busy with their canceled knights of the old republic remake aspire and pharaoh got mac money now and some switch money that's it the switch M money M1. yes <laughs> the first week Pay proton was launched to the public on steam i said the same thing it, it is <laughs> it, it is a little sad though that like the the old versions are just like riddled with memory leaks mm -hmm. and are just like gonna be unplayable it's sad but something we were too grateful we were overlooking the problem that we knew because we'd already mm -hmm. experienced bit rot mm -hmm. at least i had from the loki days of the absolute nightmare it was to get a loki publishing. game <laughs> yeah lgp games <laughs> and like one-offs that Iculus had done over the years Iculus was pretty good about going stuff and at least getting it back to minimum working standard that's just, we didn't know better. We knew that was a real problem because they get a contract to do it, support contracts three years, and when we're done with that, they're like, well, it doesn't work with a, you know, version of GLibC, whatever, SDL, but they're like, that's not a nice problem. I mean, you want to pay us, and the studio's like, no, we don't want to pay you. We're like, well, all right, cool. We, we want to go yeah, to see a movie? The, yeah, sure. <laughs> there's that half-finished Arkham Knight port that uh, Farrell did. Right. Uh, one, one day. Right. One day someone will leak that on a floppy disk. <laughs> And, uh, these days, man, like Proton came out and we got that. It's just, that's, uh, Jordan's brought it up. That's going to be the binary compatibility. Like that's what we're going to be using, like it or not, like get with it. Now I still hold out hope that tools are going to become friendly enough and the performance Delta will be there at some point, maybe not with this first gen steam deck, but maybe later on that there will be incentive to do native ports 
and there will be a performance delta where we're like, yeah, we're only get like an extra 10% if we do it instead of going through DXVK. But I don't even know if that's going to be there a couple of years from now. That's and even, 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 even if it is the, the level of development effort for like 10%, no, 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 no company in the right mind is going to do that. The level uh, of uh, effort required to teach something that people are used to doing for Windows, but do it for Linux is an overhead in and of itself. See, Pedro, and... I've thought ahead. This is why I'm going to introduce my new software package, Deck Blocks. <laughs> But you don't need deck blocks. No, no, no. When but but he's gonna get sued. <laughs> You're gonna get sued by Valve because you use the word deck in your product no, name, not. and that's not allowed. No, I, I'm wholly owned by that's Nintendo. Not a we'll games sue console out. that's trademarked. But you know, nice Yakuza. Try. <laughs> <That's>... Yakuza. <laughs> get dissolved, buddy. <laughs> get shit done. So we got to talk about ray tracing and fake news. <laughs> yes jordan you just take it away so i don't have to worry about it. sure uh the, the, this lovely letter from john d johnny says fake news ray tracing doesn't work at all or has a 40 percent performance drop all linux optimization is based on the capabilities of the steam deck if you run anything the steam deck doesn't you get problems also only distro i'll recommend is garuda for pure gaming and tumbleweed for actually replacing windows <laughs> if you don't care for not having gamer focus tumbleweed does everything stable and supports secure boot it's way better than Mint. Not not a very high bar to cross, by the way. I uh, can play games. Just have to install the codec separately. Man, you know, people always fuck up their Linux install. They forget to install the gaming codecs. Like, I, I, go, I go to play, like, CS2, and, like, it won't start, and I'm like, damn it, I forgot to install my gaming codecs. Yeah, I, I need, I need D, G Streamer plugins, Gabe. Yeah. Uh, uh, you, you want uh, more uh, context on this? Messes up all the this? dupes. Uh, he left another comment, like a big chunk. Oh, oh of a you comment. see that? This is nothing. This is a blur. Yeah. This is a snippet yeah, compared to the novella. This is, th th this is the prelude. Th <laughs> like th this is this is the prologue on Steam. When, it links to another page. When I first read this, I was like, "Ex, excellent troll." I'm buying that because, like, oh, oh not, nice, nice touch with the Susie. Well done. Then I read them yeah, like, no, "Oh, you're no, serious." Tumbleweed is the but, only Windows replacer. No, uh, no, that's. Well but the, the the one he recommends, what is it, um, Garuda for pure gaming? On the other comment, he says, "I haven't actually used Garuda." It's like, so the fuck? <laughs> I read it on Call of Duty Bros subreddit, bro. Ah, <laughs> uh, also, I'm gonna need some citations on the. Um, Ray tracing doesn't work slash has a 40% performance drop. I, 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 mean, I mean, that's just ray tracing in general. If you want your games to perform 40% yeah. worse, turn on ray tracing. <laughs> but that happens on Windows too, so the fuck? Um, I was more blown away by, like, please just let this be real. I want this person out there. Um, is that, all right, here's the time where I, like, solicit more feedback. Hit me back. Like, I want, like, real talk, too. Um, or excellent, excellent fine dining trolls. The <laughs> general belief there, uh, when, when I read, you know, anything that you, game that you play that doesn't work with the Steam Deck, just a horrible experience. It's not going to work. It's got to, like, work on the Steam What do you think they meant by that? You know, if you run anything the Steam Deck doesn't, you get problems. What did we do for the first... 13 years we were doing this show then we traveled <laughs> forward in time in our tardis and we uh, got steam decks we were we secretly all... using our steam decks in the back room yes yes this is how we were doing <laughs> no, no 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 we played we played all of it, it. Yes. okay okay no. all right to be fair it wasn't the steam deck it was the one working smock zero that they said yes the smack ah uh, yes smack and <laughs> dude the, the, the original steam boy what do, what do people like really think? I, I know we got like some windows. Like if you listen to our show, you actually probably have a very well-rounded understanding of how the Linux gaming ecosystem works. You probably do like it or not. Um, and you probably have a pretty dark sense of humor like we do like it or not. Yeah. This is the dangers the of doing a comedy are... tech podcast. I understand. <laughs> it's kind of a weird thing. We got our own niche carved out for us. What do you think about like what, what's involved with it? Do you, believe stuff like this do you read stuff like this and do you just repeat it i think i think many people do but or like what i'm getting at is or is this your comfort blanket of shit that you know is not the case but it makes you feel better if, like you're like well, you're very limited is is it that tribalism of like windows 11 has got a winner 
How do you defend Windows 11, though? See, this Stockholm is syndrome. I, I, I said this years ago. I'm like, it's going to be delicious watching these motherfuckers defend Windows 11 because nobody likes it. <laughs> and, and, and so, so I, I, I had, I had a discussion kind of like this in, in my, in my D&D session on Wednesday and it was the, 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 the comment came up as like, oh, well, I don't want to install Linux. None of my games will work. And I'm like, what games do you play that do not run well on Linux? Cause unless the answer to that is Fortnite or destiny, you really don't have an excuse. Or uh, Valorant Hunt Showdown. Oh, I, um, oh, I, and I, and I guess few, battle, the, the battlefields <laughs> now we can add that right, to the yes. list. <laughs> oh, I would love that if that person had went and installed Linux and you get like a message and you're like, how come my battlefields don't work anymore? <laughs> but, but, yeah, no, but, but, it, it is... but, but I mean, like the, 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 I, the, the FUD has like seeped into people's brains and they will say things without like well, actually people just thinking about it. it. Yeah, yeah, like, exactly. It, it doesn't yeah. matter. Like it's tech gaming, whatever. They're just going to repeat, like repair the things like, but, but to what end? You know, when you're looking at hard data that's done by a website and you see that and you're like, nah, man, fake news. Well, yeah, be, be, because because it's not something that you consider true. It, human, humans have, humans it's have like that's this directly contradictory to your own yeah. views. So it's it, it, wrong it, it, and it yes, must be taken it, down now. It's it, it's <laughs> that it's that double down effect. People, people who are confronted by information that they don't agree with, despite the fact of whether or not it's accurate. I mean, if we come back and they clap back, you them. know, this new version of like Windows 11, they're like, ah, look, now it's edging out Linux again. I'm like, all right. Yeah, give it, give it another week. Let's see how that. Lasts. I mean, how it, that it, what they did. Oh, please, the changes. please, please redo those benchmarks and make it faster, so we can go. Windows eleven embarrasses Linux, and we can read effectively do that from a different angle to uh, just to see if we can get some motherfuckers <laughs> oh, yeah, in no. there, so we can call fake news on it ourselves. Oh no. I'll, I'll, no, we, we, we just keep playing both sides and yeah, we just yeah, like yeah, ride, yeah. Ride, ride the content mill forever. <laughs> no, yeah. no, because that would make us professional streamers. <laughs> Perfect. That yeah, would so make that, us. That would just make that's us how you chasers. go pro, yes. right? Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. how you work the system, <laughs> right? You yeah. play both sides to really drive that engagement. Yeah, Pick, picking a side is for suckers. You play both sides against each other. Goddamn right. <laughs> We're gonna pick the uh, only side, which is the back side, like a butt mold for our chairs. No. <laughs> but butt mold, like like it comes out butt of your butt mold for our chairs. Oh, mold. Okay, right. Okay. Does <laughs> yeah. it mole as in the animal or like the I, skin I, I, condition? I, I was I was thinking of the bit of Rick and Morty where they go to the planet where like the dribbles are coming out of their butt. And like, all... <laughs> and yeah, and 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 they they have like the little houses inside people's butts and they live there. Huh? <laughs> butt dribbles. <laughs> On that bombshell, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to cue the music. You can always find us kicking off right here on Twitch, 8 p.m. Come say hi. I know you're listening. You're watching later. Try the live show just once. If not, if you're a patron, you get the live version of the show. So just go back and rewatch it whenever you want. I understand. Pause button, fast forward, and all that shit. I feel you, fam. Get in touch with me. I'm Vin Stone on X. I'm just Vin on Mastodon, mass.linuxgamecast.com, interfacinglinux.com. If you want to get a hold of me, ask me a Linuxy question. Hop over to the forums, join up over there. I'm always uh, doing that nonsense, and I got stuff in the works. As the elves have prophesized, I am Lemmy Winx's heir. Fi follow me as I crawl through this very dark and smelly tunnel on uh, Twitter or X at the Burning Fool or uh, at uh, Frojo at mass.linkscamecast.com or at Frojo at bsky.app. I will not let you wink. I am Peter Mathieu. <laughs> You can find me at unaccounted4 with the actual number 4 at mass.linuxgamecast.com. Follow me there. If you post interesting stuff, or if you post funny shit posts, I'll follow you back. Time for some credits. We did. We did it, we did, Reddit. We, did, we, we didn't cause them, though, and that's unfortunate. Hop in, nerds. Yeah. <laughs> We're, go we're getting shoved back in time via the transporter. Got to thank our advisors out there and our executive producers, one, two, three, four, five, Ian, Eshep, Kraducky, Drummer, the Targos, Barbram, Scott, Atomic, Mike, and our sh little Nicky fans, Turbo Tree Sloth, Eggy, Basil, Empty, and Casey Clism. And the sea monsters, Ezing Joe, John, Dirty Dean, Angel, Dementor, System T, RL, Rider X Machina, Nehemiah, Veritanuda, Trudgy, and Mike, and the Death Notes, Redisk, Mark. Tara, Oil of Hope, Benjamin, Nova, Chad, Romeo, Nubbin, Turnover, Martin, Renee, Leonardo, Dodger, Kim, Chris, Jim, and Steve. 
I think I got him. <laughs> and more Steve, an extra Steve in our Libra yeah, player, Sandy more and Steve's. Scotty. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you may now return your adults to their non-upright position. Grab your oh. bags, <laughs> preferably not filled with, uh, now you got whiskey in them. Who are we lying? Whiskey yeah. in the bago. Whiskey in the jar, uh, adulto. Whiskey <laughs> in the adulto, that good old. <laughs> whiskey in the overhead <laughs> compartment. It may have shifted during the flight. Dying to fire, everybody. We'll see you next week. Bye. Five dudes. <laughs>